So now we're going to look into different kinds of sensors, inputs and outputs on the BBC micro microbit and see what we can find there. And if we start on the front side of it, there's this grid that one really sees uh, directly once mm -hmm. looking upon it. What, what would that be? Uh, so there you have 25 LEDs, which uh, together form uh, a display that you can use to show animations or text or similar kind of things. Uh, because you can control every uh, light, every pixel uh, separately. You can even uh, set the brightness of these pixels, which is very cool. And these uh, pixels, the se this grid in and of itself is also a light sensor. So it can actually sense the level of light in the surrounding. Yeah. Uh, which means that it's not only an output, but also an input, mm. which is quite interesting. Uh, Towards the left and the right side of the grid, we have two buttons. Mm -hmm. And what can we do with those? Uh, so we have an A button and a B button. And uh, these you can use as inputs. So for example, you could program if I press this button, something happens. Or you could program if I press both these buttons together, something else will happen. Down below, we have a bunch of pins. Uh, and the, there's five holes. Uh, and three of them are pins, which mm. are inputs and outputs. Yeah, that's right. So it would be possible for me, for example, to uh, connect it with a crocodile clamp mm. to uh, a button mm. or to uh, some kind of other sensor, yeah. uh, which means that you can build projects with stuff around the micro bit as well, not only on board of it. Mm. Uh, and uh, to the side of the three pins, there's a three volt input and output. Yeah. Uh, so that's a, a port you use if you have a, a certain piece of electronics that needs 3 volts, or you can uh, use it as input for uh, giving power to the microbit. And then there's also a ground connector on the very end of it. Mm. Uh, if you uh, combine the BBC microbit with an accessory, it's possible, as I've understood it, to get up to 20 ports. Yeah, for it's actually these... Uh, uh, very small uh, stripes in between are also pins, so you can get up to 20 pins in total. So let's have a look on the back side of it and see what we can uh, find there. Uh, and if we start on the top of it, there's the USB connector, which is probably the port that one would uh, use uh, first of all, because that's where you connect it to the computer and uh, give it power, yep. and you can also uh, give the microbit its code through that. Yeah, exactly. And to the left of it, we have a big black button. Yeah. Uh, so there we have a reset button. If you press that, the micro bit uh, restarts, and the, the program that you created starts from the beginning again. And to the left of that, we have the battery port. Yeah. And uh, when it comes to batteries, you can connect both LiPo batteries or button batteries. There's a variety of different batteries you can you can actually use together with the micro bit. Yeah, and that's a way to run a micro bit without having to plug in the USB uh, cable. So it's possible for me to sort of code the micro bit and have a project running only running on batteries. Yeah. Uh, if we have a look towards uh, down to the to this side here, we have a bunch of big black boxes. Mm -hmm. What would they be? Uh, the big one over here, that's the actual chip, uh, ARM chip. Um, and that's the one you program. Uh, a cool thing with this one is that it uh, has a built-in uh, thermometer as well. So it's possible to actually measure temperature mm -hmm. directly with a chip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And down below, there's a bunch of small uh, black boxes as well. Yeah, the first one here, that's the compass. Uh, that one uh, can sense magnetic forces or, or actually changes in magnetic force. So for example, if you have a, a magnet and move it around the micro bit, you can uh, sense this. Or you can use it to sense in which direction the north is and like build your own compass with the micro bit. And then the microbit also has its own gyrometer and accelerometer. Mm -hmm. And the accelerometer, it senses acceleration in, yeah. linear, uh, in linear planes. Yeah, so if I move the, the uh, microbit like this, it feels or it, yeah, it senses, senses the acceleration. Exactly. And the gyrometer senses the uh, rotational speed. Yeah. Uh, and it can sense in three degrees. In three different directions. In different directions, yes. Yeah. Uh, apart from this, it also has a radio unit, mm -hmm. uh, which runs Bluetooth. Yeah. 
So, for example, if you connect the micro bit to your iPad, that would be the thing that you use to connect it with the iPad, actually. Mm -hmm. But it's possible to use the radio unit without Bluetooth as well. Yep. Yeah. So as you hear, there's a bunch of different sensors. And most of these you can actually use with block programming and mm -hmm. quite simple programming languages. Yes. So uh, all of these different inputs and outputs are possible to use with very simple uh, programming tools, uh, making this actually quite a potent device. Yeah, you can get started very quickly. So through just by using the microbit, we can have a bunch of different projects, not having to put it together with any other things outside of it. It's just to plug and play and code and have a lot of fun. Mm. 